what is up what is going on good afternoon happy rising good night depending on where you are at in this world it is your girl isis love live and direct from miami about to give it to you like the hot fire born hot fire what's going on peace family peace peace thank you very much for tuning in today on this live special on this beautiful monday you guys please pal in here pal in here get in here you guys because what i'm about to share with you today though this shit right here <laughs> you definitely don't want to miss what i'm about to share you guys so um if you're coming in here, you know, and you're checking this out live, if you could just comment live in the comment bar and let me know what state, let me know where state you're watching this from. Let me know what country you're watching this from because I'm doing some traveling around the world and I would like to know, you know, where my listeners are, you know, tuning in from, you guys. Today, we're going to be speaking about pyramid schemes, right? That little scary word that people love to bring up right pyramid schemes right so that's what we're going to be talking about right to make sure that you are not in one which majority of of us well not us because i'm not included but majority of the people are in everyday pyramid schemes now i knew i was going to get a lot of people on this live because i just simply put the word pyramid scheme up here and most people are so afraid of a pyramid scheme i definitely knew that it was going to uh bring a lot of people so i definitely like that because we are talking about pyramid schemes you guys so let me let me um let me kick it to y'all like this right if you because what we fail to realize is let me go back you know from birth you guys We've been programmed. I don't know if y'all really understand what that means when I say program, but the human mind is like a computer, right? The human mind is like the comp like a computer. This whole body is like a computer. So your mind can get programmed with certain things, especially at a young age. At a young age, we are programmed by our parents, by our school, by our uh, peers. We're constantly being bar by, uh, bombarded and programmed with stuff we see on TV. So from an early age, even from generations before you was born, we was programmed with fear, right? And so when I speak about pyramid schemes, right i'm talking about your everyday job right your everyday job is the true pyramid scheme right most people are afraid of online uh businesses or online marketing or network marketing they think it's all a pyramid scheme it's a pyramid scheme but nobody really stops and realizes that um the real pyramid scheme is actually going to work every day and working for somebody because those people are not really in your favor right so let me show you what i'm talking about right because i know most people are visual i don't have my whiteboard with me so please you know you're gonna have to just try to check it out um uh, with my uh pen and paper right so here you go let me just put this up here i want y'all to really follow me this is very educational. I want y'all to enter and understand so you can see and know when to identify a true pyramid scheme. Because we like to call pyramid schemes for opportunities that are really there to help you, right? But let me tell you what a real pyramid scheme is, right? So, oh, okay, I know y'all probably can't see that. So we got Joe, right? Joe. So Joe works for his boss, Mark, right? And so guess what? Mark got a boss. He working for Sarah, right? And Sarah got a boss. She got maybe the CFO who run the company, and that's Jim, right? So, and I know it's hard for y'all to see. I greatly do apologize, but just follow along with the concept that I have, right? So we have Joe which is, let's just say you, and then you have your boss that's kind of like the manager 
of your, you know, your establishment, right? And then that person has his boss, and then you got the main person that's over the job, right? So the thing of it, you guys, is that's a true pyramid scheme to me because, um, and like I said, this is my personal uh, opinion. You can, you know, agree or not to agree. It's not up for uh, debate. But, um, you know, my personal opinion, that's a pyramid scheme because those people are not helping you climb up the ladder, right? Do you think your CFO is rooting for you to become the next CEO? Do you think that your CFO is rooting for you to become the next manager? Nine times out of 10, no, right? So the scheme behind it is you are working, 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 working your butt off to once again build up somebody else's legacy. That's a freaking scheme. That's that's a scheme. I mean, really enter and understand what I'm saying, right? You got all these people above you, right? But they're not working to get you to the top where they are right? What they will do is keep you at that job so that you are working continuously for them to grow their legacy. But my question is always to everybody, what are you building? What kind of legacy are you building for you? Take it for example, today is Labor Day. Everybody's super excited. You know, it's a day off. Trust me, when I used to work for corporate America, I would eat these days up. I would be so super excited. You know, it was Labor Day. I'm off. Let's get it. But what people don't really realize is that Labor Day, you may be off kicking and chilling with your family, but Labor Day is also a time for business people to capitalize off of you. Why? Think about it. Look around. Labor Day sales. Um, discounts on stuff so you can make a cookout. Everywhere that you're going, Labor Day sale, Labor Day discount, Labor Day this, Labor Day that. So not only are you off relaxing, which you should be doing every day anyway, you shouldn't have to work for anybody any day anyway, but I definitely know that, you know, sometimes in a predicament that you may be in, um, you may feel like you have to work for somebody, but you really don't. So meanwhile, you know, you're trying to relax since your day off, but yet you still have all these big businesses that are still trying to sell you things. So for instance, today is a business day. Today is a great day for business owners because they know that they're going to reach out to everyday retail people and be able to lure them into their shopping trap. And it's that cycle again right? Go to work, spend the money, go to work, spend the money, go to work, spend the money, right? It's a cycle. Boop, boop, boop. But something has to stop, right? It should be about building your business, getting paid, building your business, getting paid, growing your money, building your business, getting paid, growing your money, Right. And I'm not saying don't go out there and shop. Right. But if we think about it, for example, I wanted this hot bag. You guys, this bag is it's called MCM or something like that. I don't even know what it stands for, but it's this dope leather bag. And this bag goes for about six thousand dollars or more, depending on what style you're getting. And so. You know, I like to enjoy, you know, luxurious things, but then I got to stop and ask myself, I'm paying $6,000 for a leather bag that was built in China for about $20, right? When I can turn around and get a plain leather bag and put my business logo on there, right? So all day long, we out there hustling, right? Spending money on things we can't afford just so we can keep up with the Joneses so we can rock a brand. You guys, a brand is just a name. That's all it is. So you're spending all of this money on a name. It's just a name. Do you guys know that Jordan shoes are hundreds of dollars, depending on what size shoe you wear, but yet people in China are making these shoes for $10.
So you're paying for a name, right? That's that's kind of schemish. You don't think that's a scam? See, nobody stops. Nobody questions because it's so programmed in your mind. Nobody stops and thinks, well, wait a minute. These factories are making these shoes and these clothes for cheaper prices and then turning around marking the price up for me. But you don't think that's a scam, though? You don't, you don't think that is a pyramid scheme? You, you don't do you, does that even make sense? Like, if that is making sense to you right now, if you are inner and overstanding what I'm speaking about right now, if you could just comment, you know, in the comment bar, this is making sense, Isis. This is making sense, right? So I'm going to bring it back in to those pyramid schemes, right? See, let me tell you what I like about network marketing, right? Because most people, they freeze up when they hear the word network marketing. They be like, oh, scam, <laughs> pyramid scheme, but never stop and think about their job, right? Because we've been so conditioned to work, work, work for somebody else that when other opportunities of the future are happening, we like to think everything's a pyramid scam. I'm a pyramid scheme, right? Let me tell you why I like network marketing. And I don't even see it as network marketing. I see it as community economics. It's all about your perception. You can perceive network marketing as something bad, as something evil, out to get you, right? Or you can see the blessing behind it. Let me tell you the difference about network marketing, right? So you got Joe, right? Here goes Joe. Joe's in network marketing, right? Joe's at the top of his food chain, right? This is network marketing. Now, I cannot attest for some of the network marketing gigs that's out there, but I definitely can attest for some things that I'm doing, right? So Joe has Sarah and Matt on his team, right? Joe has Sarah and Matt on his team, right? Joe has the ability to pull Sarah and Matt up to the position he's at so he can move on to the next position. That's the whole thing with network marketing. I can't, like I said, I can't attest for all of them, right? I don't know what most of them do. I can only attest for what I'm doing for my community and circulating the dollar within our community and, and our economics, right? I have the ability, the higher I go up, I have the ability to pull everybody up with me. So <clears throat> if I'm making $1,000 monthly extra, right, and then I have two people on my team that are making $600 a month extra, I can pull them up that ladder where they're now making a thousand, right? And I moved up the ladder a little bit too. But what is the scheme in that? What is so scammy about that? That's what I want to know because this is the part that I, I don't understand. Your job is the pyramid scheme because your job is not going to pull you up that ladder to get you no coins. Your job wants to leave you right where you are, docile, and continuing to build their legacy, right? So when people freeze up, for network marketing, I really feel like it's the fear of loss. It's the fear of unknown, if the un no, the unknown, right? But the only way you're gonna be able to make a difference in your life is by changing, right? So a lot of people would be like, look, I don't like network marketing. <laughs> I don't like talking to people. I don't want to have to convince and sell stuff to people. You don't have to. Let me tell you, you network marketing every day. You talk to people every day about things you like. Oh my gosh, Amazon is so cool. You can get everything on Amazon. You should check out Amazon, Frank. But guess what? You are advertising for Amazon. Yes. You are net 
network marketing without the paycheck. <laughs> Your network marketing without the paycheck. All day long, we are advertising for other companies. I'll give you another example. Planet Fitness. You go tell your homegirl how you been. Man, Planet Fitness is the one. I got me a personal trainer. You know, they got a package for $19.99 every month. Girl, you should go check that gym out. There again, you have referred somebody, and you're the main one saying you don't want to refer nobody, you don't want to talk to nobody about nothing, but you will go and refer other things like that and don't even get paid for it. You don't get paid. You got the new iPhone. You telling everybody about the new iPhone. That new iPhone do this. The new iPhone do that. But where your check at though from Apple? Did Apple cut you a paycheck though? No, they didn't. Every day, all day, you are advertising to everybody. So the next time somebody presents, look, network marketing is the future of today. I don't know if you guys are paying attention to what is going on in this world. Like seriously, what is going on? Some people are so under the spell and so caught up in the everyday mundane life that you can't even see the big picture of this matrix that we're in, right? So, you know, the next time somebody comes to you with an opportunity, don't freeze up and think it's something scammy. Think about that job being a scam for you. Like, think about that job being a pyramid scheme, right? Let me let me kick it to you like this, right? Every, are you guys familiar with Amway? If you're familiar with Amway, if you're familiar with doTERRA, I, lot, I know a lot of my essential oil, spiritual gurus, you know, um, they're, they're, oh, I love doTERRA, girl, this doTERRA essential oil is the one, I can take the, this, the, the doTERRA, I can swallow it, I can put it in my food, but is doTERRA sending a check to you, right? That's network marketing, doTERRA is network marketing. Right? So picture this. Right? The NFL, the NBA, and the MLB, like the little baseball people, and even the hockey people, right? Combine, combine them all together. Yearly, they're making about $14 billion together. Okay, doTERRA by themselves is making 14,000, I mean, 14,000 billion a year. Amway by itself is making 14 billion a year. All of these quote unquote network marketing companies are making way more money than their average everyday job. More than the basketball players, the football players, and the baseball players put together. You got to really start doing the math. Numbers don't lie. Numbers do not lie. The only person that lies is you to yourself about passing over opportunities. Because to be poor is to pass over opportunities repeatedly. Passing over opportunities repeatedly is to be poor, right? So you got to really widen your perception. Whoa, man, I used to have this like narrow tunnel vision on everything. Like it had to be this way or no way. But the moment I start expanding my consciousness and looking at things from many different views is the way is the is when I really started to trust myself, started to trust my intuition, right? Give you another example, right? We pray all day to God, Buddha, Allah, whoever you believe in, only one God, right? 
We pray every day. Oh, Lord, just give me one more chance. Oh, Lord, if you could just give me a new job. Oh, Lord, I just need some money for this. I just need some this. I just need that. You pray, and then the universe sends you opportunities, but because you're still in a scary, is everything a scam, is everything a pyramid scheme type of vibration, you miss the block, the blessing. You didn't block the blessing because of your energy. You attract things to you. So if you feel that everything is a scam and everything is a scheme, it's because you are attracting it with your energy. Yes. With your energy, you are attracting the scamish, schemish um type of uh, situations to you. You brought it with your with your negative energy, with that fear. Y'all, energy, you have, look, you have your body, right? And then your body has like layers of energy that goes out like this, right? And so when your thought comes in your mind, it penetrates out through your aura and out through the ethers, right? And so the moment you switch that thought and the moment you switch your mind to like abundance and prosperity and knowing that all good things always land on your path is the moment that you're going to start attracting it. Look, personal experience. When I'm telling you community these things, I'm not just talking out the side of my neck. I'm telling you things from personal experience. Right. I'm not just blabbing around like I'm telling you from personal experiences. Like I say, about five years ago, my mindset was totally different. I was all about designer stuff, you know, going out, going clubbing. The type of friends that I was hanging around was negative. And so I was attracting all of that stuff to me. But the moment I changed my mind and the way I thought about this matrix, guys, we're in a matrix. Right. The moment I changed it and I seen that we were in a matrix is the moment I started to manifest all things that I want into my life because I had to change my vibration. Literally, energy is everything. This is energy. This bottle is energy. This pencil is energy. You only see it so densely as a pencil because we don't have the well, we do have the uh the, uh, the capability to be able to break down and see this in many different molecules and see it in its true form, right? So I know I'm kind of like going all over with this, but it still ties into pyramid schemes and scams and knowing how to identify them. Because when you ask God for something, you got to trust in your gut. You got to trust in your heart that whatever has came in your path is become, supposed to come in your path, right? There's no good or no bad. There is no good. There is no bad. It just is. Why do I say that? Well, wait a minute, Isis. Killing animals are bad, <laughs> right? That's your opinion, right? Just like what I'm saying is my personal opinion. Either you're going to feel it or you're not going to feel it, right? But bad and good is in the beholder of the person. For example, I may beat this grandma up. Everybody may come out in the street. You're wrong. How are you going to beat that old lady up? That's messed up. You're messed up. Right. They all seeing me as the bad guy. But when I be like, hey, you, you know, this grandma burnt my house down, murdered my kids. Everybody changes up. They're like, oh, wow, she's the bad one. So my whole point is good and bad is in the eye of the beholder. Right. So by you being more in tune with yourself. You're able to really recognize what a true pyramid scheme is and what a true scam is. Because if you cannot see that your job, this government, this government is raping us, is scam. Look, the banks are scamming us. Think about it. You get ATM fees. You can't pull out a certain amount of money. 
You can you got a, a a limit on how much money you can pull out a day. Every time you go into the ATM, you're getting taxed. You got this freaking stupid, dumb overdraft protection that comes in and literally takes money from you when you don't have money in there. You guys, these are freaking scams. It's a freaking scheme. Those are the true scams and schemes. Open your eyes to see it. Shake it. Shake that damn curse off of you. Shake that curse off of you. The curse runs deep. It runs deep into our ancestors. It runs deep into our in our genes and our DNA. You have to shake it off for yourself and the generations to come. You got to clear your DNA all the way down from an ancestral level to be able to release this lack concept that we have. We are not living in lack. People be so afraid of food running out when the whole earth is full of food. You talking about you can't feed your kids and the only thing you got to do is start growing your food? Like, you guys, <laughs> we got to start using this thing. Like, this thing in here, you got to start using it for real, for real. Right? So, I know I kind of went on and kind of went and started talking about different things. But, um, you know... I'm just letting it flow through me. You know, I only go live when spirit tells me to go live. So right now what I'm saying is just coming through. So just bear with me as this information process through. So another thing the ancestors want me to let you know is call upon your ancestors when you need help. Your ancestors can help you financially. Your ancestors can help you know which opportunity is good enough, right? And so people might be like, well, well, Isis, how do I call upon my ancestors? You call about your, your, calling your uh, ancestors by simply calling out to them. Grandpa Joe, uh, you know, Grandma Cassidine, I don't know. You know, I'm just really calling upon you right now to just guide me in this situation. I don't know if I should qualify if, if I should do this or if I shouldn't do this, but I'm calling upon all my loving and benevolent ancestors to just answer my question, right? Then what you could do is you could take two pieces of paper, write no on one piece of paper, write yes on another piece of paper, ball it up, put it in a cup, pick the piece of paper up, there's your answer. Don't question it. If you want to, pick the piece of paper up three different times so you can get a solid answer. But you guys, you don't need special tarot card readers, special bone readers to to um, be able to let you know what's going on. You are your own tarot reader. You are your own uh, shaman. You don't need other people to do that for you. Do you know who you are? <laughs> Do you know who you are? Do you know the power that you possess? Do you know who you are? If you don't, you need to find out who you are because you are a omni being. You guys, this body, look at this. This is a body. We are inside of a matrix, a holographic freaking video game. You learn the rules and play the game and become the master of the game so you don't have to come back here. Or you fail the game and become a slave to the matrix because you refuse to get the cheat codes. There's cheat codes within the matrix everywhere. Everywhere there's a cheat code for this matrix. But if you're just tunnel vision, not really seeing the bigger picture of life, you're gonna miss that we're in a matrix because this is a body. The spirit and the soul is not even connected to this thing. They somewhere out in the ethers operating us like a puppet 
Think about it. Right now, my blood is running through my veins. I'm not doing nothing special. I'm not pushing no type of button. I'm not doing anything. My blood is running through my veins. I just ate a wrap. My stomach right now is digesting the food, but you, but I'm not doing it. This vehicle is doing it. This is a vehicle. It's designed to operate in this matrix. I'm breathing. I'm breathing. I'm not even forcing myself to breathe. I'm just breathing the breathe. It's beyond this flesh. We are beyond this flesh. That's who you are. You are a God. Now, I would say this. Not all of you are gods. Because not all of you guys are, we're different, we're different species. We're different beings. Just because you see somebody and they, like, I don't look like this under here. Like, I come from a totally different planet. Like, I don't even look like this on my planet, right? There's different entities operating different people's vessels. Some people are human. Some people are not human. Some people like me are just here to assist humanity on waking up. Wake up, wake up, wake up, wake up. Wake up, right? To wake you guys up. To help you remember who you are and why you are in this matrix, right? Are y'all following me? Right? To make sure that you are being the master of your reality, you guys. So, um, you know, being the master of your reality is being the game player of the video game versus you being the player in the video game, if that makes sense. You have to be the controller, right? You have to control your reality with your mind. If you do not have control over this, somebody else will control. Let me give you an example, right? We got these, we got these different spiritual leaders and different light workers. You got to be able to see through that. Everybody not here for your for your goodness. Energy never lies, though. You can always feel somebody's energy. I'm pretty sure if you guys are still following me and still watching my Facebook and YouTube, that you pretty much can feel my energy. You can feel Isis love off live, off camera. is the same Isis love when you meet me in person. So for anybody that meets me, has met me in person, you know I'm the same original person, right? I'm not going to act one way on camera and then act one way when you see me in person. I'm the same Isis love, right? But i give you an example. Right. We got some spiritual leaders. Uh, I say about one year ago has so many people, so many people under a spell. But I'm not even going to call out any names. I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to call anybody's names out. But we did have a spiritual, a couple spiritual leaders that that people called out sometime last year because what they were doing is they were using their charm and using their intelligence to mind fuck people. Had people leaving the USA and going all the way across to the tropics and to the Caribbeans, right? Had people moving and packing their stuff up. <laughs> I'm sorry. I just had to laugh. If that was you. I don't mean to make fun of you, but damn, you couldn't see that. <laughs> but had people leave, pack their shit up from their house and go live in the tropics with somebody. And then when they got there, they found out that this person wasn't really who they said they was, right? And that's because that person was controlling your mind. When you are at a lower state in your consciousness and in your energy, people will come and manipulate you. They'll manipulate your mind. But when you have control of your mind, you're able to see when somebody else is playing you. So for all those people, they didn't even know what was going on. You know, they really genuinely thought that what this guy was saying was genuine. They end up getting a rude awakening when they went down there and traveled with this person and found out who this person really was, right? So you have to over your mind because other people will come and dominate you literally dominate you when we are always searching for something outside of ourselves instead of looking within because all the answers are in here 
Nothing outside of you is going to save you. You are the God. There ain't no Jesus about to come down from the sky and get you that job. Ain't no Jesus about to come down from the sky and, 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 and give you that raise, right? You got to do that. You got to do that. So, you know, not to knock, knock anybody's faith or anything like that. Like, I'm not on here to bash anybody's faith. But what I'm saying is don't so much rely on something outside of you to make a difference for your life. You have to. You are the master and the leader of your life. Anytime you start going out saying, this is my master this, my master that, my master that, you're giving somebody else power over you, right? You're giving somebody else that power instead of having a power for yourself. You are a powerful person. You forgot who you are. That's why you give your power out to other people. But I'm here to tell you that you are a soul having a human experience. Some of you, some people don't have no souls, but that's a different story. And that's, I can make a whole video about the matrix, right? I actually was in Nashville and there was a lot of uh, matrix glitches, you guys. Like, whoa, matrix glitches were serious out in uh, Nashville. Like, they'll have these little people that will like, that's something else. I know I'm getting off topic, but I think I said enough. I think the ancestors, I don't hear any more things in my mind that I need to get out to you guys now, right? But I thank you so much for the time and the energy to watch this live video. Like I said, if you're watching this video live, if you could just comment down below in the comment bar and let me know that you're watching it live and let me know where you're watching it from. And if you're watching this recorded, you know, comment recorded and let me know where, which country, which state. I like to know where everybody is uh, calling from. And if you found this information helpful, share it. It's, it's literally free for you to hit the share button and share this. It's literally free for you to do that. It doesn't cost you anything. It's just a boop, share, and share. Because you don't know who needed to hear this message today. So once again, Make sure you're able to identify the true scam and the true pyramid scheme, which is your job. Anytime you got to ask somebody to take a lunch break, think about it. You want to go to lunch at 11 o'clock, but your lunch break now to 2 o'clock. But you can't take that 2 o'clock lunch because somebody is controlling your time. And when somebody controls your time, they control your mind. When somebody controls your time, they're controlling your mind. So if you can't take a vacation when you want to take it, you don't have control over your life. That's a problem, family. That's a problem. You a God. You a goddess. If you a God and you a goddess, why are you taking orders from other people? Kings and queens don't take orders from other people. So are you really a king or a queen? Are you really a king or a queen? Right? We have to claim our sovereignty, and it starts with the mind. Forget a piece of paper. Yes, the piece of paper does play its role in this matrix, but you have to claim your freedom in your mind. Okay, so it's been super, super a pleasure sharing this information today with you. Please don't hesitate to like and share this video. It was a pleasure speaking with you guys. It's your girl, Isis Love, tuning out live and direct. Peace, love, and prosperity, family.